Hey, what's up guys, Mikey here. You ever have nightmares over something you did or didn't do in high school? I have. I did go to a few football games here and there, but for some reason, I guess I just couldn't find a date to go to homecoming dances with. I did go to prom though, so I wasn't a complete loser. The Chaperone is the episode where Spongebob takes Pearl to her prom after her previous date stood her up. This episode aired on March 8, 2000 according to Wikipedia and is that episode where we see Octavius Rex, also known as Pearl's ex-boyfriend, also also known as Long, Tan, and Handsome. This episode is also the first time where Spongebob and Pearl interact with each other on screen. Spongebob and Pearl's friendships is one of the more interesting relationships in the series in my opinion. Most of the relationships among the characters feel rather consistent throughout the series, like how Squidward is grouchy towards Spongebob often, but occasionally is nice to him, and how Spongebob and Sandy are generally close throughout the show, despite a few arguments slash disagreements. Spongebob and Pearl seems to fluctuate from time to time. The beginning of the series shows them as good friends, but some of the later episodes show Pearl being mean towards Spongebob and doesn't seem to like him as much as the earlier episodes. Then, in episode 499, A Cabin in the Kelp from season 12, they were shown to be friends again, and Pearl is very sad when she thinks Spongebob, who was in her backpack, had been lost. A girl who is nice to a guy, then mean, then nice again. I remember my first friendship with a girl that was like that. This is also the first time Pearl has the major role in an episode, since she only made two minor appearances before this episode. This is about Pearl and some things that teenage girls go through, which is seen from time to time again in the series after this. I've heard some arguments that this kind of stuff feels out of place in Spongebob. I personally don't feel this way, but I will explain this later on. Right now, let's watch this episode and relive the one and only prom night on Spongebob. So the episode starts up and Spongebob is making Krabby Patties when Pearl comes in bawling her eyes out. Despite Mr. Krabs trying to calm her down, she floods the Krusty Krab. Mr. Krabs tells Spongebob how Pearl's prom date dumped her right before prom, and she can't find another date, let alone a date that's as long, tan, and handsome as her old date. Mr. Krabs tells Pearl that they'll find her another date, and offers Spongebob. Pearl says, as a result, people will mistake her for a planetarium. Hey everybody, check this out. This is my favorite snow globe. Or is this a planetarium? I don't freaking know. Mr. Krabs asks all the Freds in the restaurant to take Pearl to the prom, but then they run away, so Pearl tells Spongebob to arrive on time and walks away. Mr. Krabs tells Spongebob to make Pearl's night extra special. Then the real Spongebob comes up and states Mr. Krabs was talking to a dummy Spongebob mate. Mr. Krabs tells Spongebob about the prom, and Spongebob is excited, claiming he's a prom expert. Later at home, Spongebob was not confident, saying that he didn't even get a date to his own junior prom. I couldn't do that either, but at least I got a date to my senior prom, and that's what matters. Gary gives Spongebob a magazine called Long, Tan, and Handsome, which gives him an idea on how to compete with Pearl's former Long, Tan, and Handsome date, and then there's a montage of Spongebob getting ready, with the final form giving him some extremely long, unstable stilts as legs. On the night of the prom, Spongebob arrives at Mr. Krabs' house all gussied up, and then starts to write down everything Pearl wants to do, and then rushes to the limo when Spongebob tells her about the limo. It wouldn't be a prom experience without a limo, and thank god I went to and from prom in a limo. When they arrive at the high school, the first thing they do is take prom pictures. Spongebob tries to follow Pearl, but his legs start malfunctioning and he loses control, resulting in him destroying the curtain where pics are taken. Pearl's friends come over, and she tells Spongebob to go get her some punch. Pearl's friends introduce their dates to Pearl, and they ask about Pearl's date, who at this time is struggling just to reach the spoon in the punch bowl, and his legs cause him to spill the punch all over himself, annoying Pearl even more. Pearl then spots her ex-boyfriend, Octavius Rex, aka Long, Tan, and Handsome. Meep. I know Pearl's a whale, and this guy is indeed tan, but well, what exactly counts as long in Pearl's eyes? Spongebob then takes Pearl onto the dance floor and tries to dance with her, but everybody was doing the whack. When Spongebob tries, he hits Pearl, causing another couple to fly through the food table, and chaos ensures during this shot of Spongebob and Pearl. Pearl starts to get sad, but Spongebob tries to cheer her up, 
but he can't think of anything else for them to do, so he starts to get sad himself and runs into the girls' room. Pearl talks to Spongebob and tries to cheer him up after what happened. Why doesn't she just go into the bathroom to talk to him? He ran to the girls' room and not the boys' room, so I think it'd be okay for her to go into the bathroom to talk to him. Pearl says they can still dance together, and Spongebob runs out excitedly. The next song, Doing the Sponge, comes on, and Spongebob starts to do the sponge. He is a sponge, so I assume that's what sponges do. While Spongebob and Pearl do the sponge successfully, everybody else struggles to do the sponge, leading into multiple injuries, mass destruction, and the paramedics coming in. Pearl throws Spongebob into a basketball hoop, and the crowd lifts them up. They were happy at first, but they took them outside because they were pissed that they basically wrecked the prom. Actually, Pearl threw Spongebob into the visitor's basketball goal, so they're possibly furious about that too. Spongebob took Pearl home and was sorry about what he did. Pearl said she knew it would be a total disaster all along, but said it was fun in terms of how disasters go. Mr. Krabs comes out because they almost stepped on Mr. Krabs' favorite flower. Pearl goes inside, and Mr. Krabs is proud of Spongebob for taking Pearl to prom. Then the real Spongebob comes to pick up the dummy Spongebob made, and the episode ends. Wait, if that was Spongebob's dummy, was any of that even real? So that was The Chaperone, and I feel that it was a good episode. There were quite a few parts of the episode that I enjoyed. I love the part where all the Freds at the beginning run away at the sight of Pearl. The montage of Spongebob getting ready for prom was awesome too, especially because of the music that played during this scene. I also liked the part where Spongebob was a red punch dispenser. Just like everybody else in the continent, I liked the doing the sponge song. To an extent, I'd argue that's the best part of the episode. The song is good and the chaos that ensures can be a bit shocking, but I thought it was entertaining. Speaking of which, I'm going to address what I mentioned before going over the plot. I have heard some people say that the teen girl stuff that Pearl goes through is kinda out of place for the Spongebob series. Personally, I disagree with this. Yes, Spongebob is the title character and the show follows him and the world he lives in. But the last five words of that sentence were the world he lives in. Spongebob is the title character and as long as he appears physically in every episode, then it counts as a Spongebob episode. When a modern episode focuses on another character going through something they haven't gone through before, I've heard fans think that's great because it's a breath of fresh air for the show. Pearl going through her own teenage focused stories is just that, and since she's a character in the Spongebob series, then these kinds of stories work in this context. We still have those Spongebob shenanigans thrown in there sometimes, so that makes it truly feel like Spongebob. Even back in the early years, Spongebob had smaller roles in some episodes and another character took the lead. I never minded that because Spongebob is still in them. Sometimes he hardly appeared at all, and when that happened, I was like, Wow, that was all we got of Spongebob himself in that episode? But like I said, when the show focuses on other characters, it's still nice to see that every now and then. The ending was also weird. I'm not sure what the point of revealing that Spongebob had the dummy go to the prom with Pearl was. Obviously, the point of it was a reference to the gag at the beginning, where Spongebob told Mr. Krabs about the dummy. The dummy looks just like Spongebob, yes, but if Spongebob made the dummy look fancy just to go to prom with Pearl, that just doesn't make sense because he was shown walking, talking, and dancing with Pearl all night, so I don't understand why this was put in there. If it was a robot or something, maybe. But a dummy... I'm so confused. Another point of confusion, the title. The name of the episode is The Chaperone, which is supposed to be an adult that attends the dance and looks after everything. Nothing like that happens here. Yes, Stephen Hillenburg has stated that Spongebob is an adult, but he doesn't look after the dance. He goes as Pearl's day. Before you shoot me, I am aware that there are some episodes out there where the title has little or nothing to do with what the episode is about, but most episode titles, at the very least, describe the episode in some way that makes sense. While the episode is about a prom, and the title, The Chaperone, does have to do with dances, the title is still a bit misleading. Now this part is just a me thing, but this doesn't take away from the episode in any way. During the scene with the limo and the crowd was screaming, OW! and covering their ears, this was due to Pearl's weight making the metal scraping against the street. 
The first couple times I saw this episode as a kid, I saw these white sparks or whatever they were and thought that those were hitting the fish and that's why they were screaming in pain. I did see the rear end of the limo scraping against the street, but for some reason I didn't know it was the scraping sound itself that everybody screamed about. Yes, I learned what it actually meant, don't kill me. Now back to the good shit. In addition to the song and the funny scenes, I also feel like this episode introduced the Spongebob and Pearl friendship pretty well. They both get along well for the most part, and while it's not as consistent as something like Spongebob and Sandy's friendship, I'd argue the fact that it changes from time to time kinda keeps it more interesting. It may not appear often, but I do still like when we get to see it, even if it's drastically different from episode to episode. And I feel that this episode showed it off for the first time pretty well. Since this was also Pearl's first major appearance in the series, I feel this shows that while she may not work perfectly as a lead role without another character to share that lead role with her, this episode showed how well-rounded Pearl can be. She can be extremely sad and depressed, sometimes get furious, but also caring towards her friends that she may not be as close with as others. So I'd say for her first major role in an episode, it was a good one. Overall, I think this episode is pretty good. There are a lot of good moments in here, especially the song. I do think the ending is rather nonsensical and Pearl's teen life may not feel proper for a show like this. I still feel it can work here depending on how well it's executed and I feel like this episode can be a good example of taking an idea that may not work 100% and finding a way to play it out pretty well for the show. The Chaperone is a good episode. The song is awesome, the Spongebob and Pearl dynamic is cool, and it was pretty good for being Pearl's first major appearance in an episode. And I like when the show tries out ideas that you wouldn't expect to see in a regular episode, because it helps to keep things fresh, especially since the show's been going on for as long as it has been. And watching this episode after high school makes me satisfied knowing that I went to prom with a girl and a group in a limo.